it's not the circus or the county fair, but one day these polymer fibers may be a key component in creating life-saving new medical technologies. I think my idea is that we can... Uh, With support the from the National the Science the Foundation, Foundation, engineers Hak Jun Sung and Leon Bellin and their team at Vanderbilt University are working to regrow body tissue that has been damaged by trauma or disease. It can be heart or it can be blood vessel, it can be brain or some other part of the body. In the long run, you don't want there to be any noticeable difference between the host body and the implanted tissues. Part of the challenge is developing an artificial equivalent of tissue itself. They call it a scaffold. They're using hydrogels, which look and feel a lot like gelatin. The scaffold is sort of the environment in which the cells live. You can think about it as like sort of like a, a house for the cells. The cells they put into the scaffold ideally are harvested from the patient's own body and will grow into healthy replacement tissue. We use a material as a basic template, like a mimicking uh, tissue structures, and we add uh, some biological component. It can be stem cell or other adult cells or biological molecules. Now, here's where the cotton candy machine comes in. So there's a big push to try and figure out how do you build capillaries into engineered tissue. Regenerating tissue needs blood to survive. In living systems, that's done by capillaries, branching networks of tiny blood vessels, each 10 times thinner than a human hair. Cells want to be roughly a hair's thickness or less distance from a blood vessel, from a capillary. And if they're too far from a capillary, then they don't get oxygen and nutrients quickly enough um, to survive, and they'll die. The size of the fibers that are produced by a cotton candy machine are fairly close, if not spot on, when compared to the size of capillaries. They pour hydrogel over the fibers. After it hardens in an incubator, they dissolve the fibers away, leaving a network of tiny channels behind, just like capillaries. So the cotton candy machine just ended up making fibers that happen to have the right size and the right sort of architecture to mimic a capillary bed. Bellin says they still have lots to work out before this artificial tissue is ready for use in patients. But they have high expectations that the field of regenerative medicine will eventually prove to be a game changer. We're really putting together a toolbox for people to eventually be able to build tissues and organs. You know, in the long run, if someone needs a new organ, we'll just build it for them. Engineering artificial tissue designed to regenerate the real thing. Any way you spin that, it's a winner. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.